What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Thursday, August 18th, and today we're going to be talking about a newer collection that should definitely be on your horizon. And that collection is called Monkia. Now the reason Monkia stands out for me is that it turns and transforms your PFP or picture for profile into a modern and contemporary piece of work of art. Now, there are not many collections that focus on that particular category, so that's why I'm very excited to share this video with you guys, just because it's all my personal opinion. And at the end of the video, I wanna make sure that you guys stick around because I wanna show you guys why this collection has the right mentality for the short-term roadmap ahead. Now, don't miss a single thing within this video because it's gonna be very essential for you to understand where this collection could be going in the short term. So with that said, guys, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful to any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys, let's get right into it. So as you can see here, the floor price is around 0.28 Solana of around 538 of these NFTs listed on the floor. But right now, I wanna show with you why this collection could be worth acquiring if you potentially want to be a part of this. Now, if you don't know, Monkia could be based off of the actual artist King Basquiat. Now, Jean-Michel Basquiat is a really infamous artist, a very young man who made really abstract art that was very surreal, but also far-fetched, far beyond what our minds can see. But again, artwork and contemporary and modern arts teach us something about ourselves. And Basquiat was discovered by Andy Warhol, and Andy Warhol definitely put Basquiat on the map. This is Andy Warhol right here, and if you don't know who Andy Warhol is, that's completely okay. Definitely do your own research in terms of the modern and contemporary world. But guys, this is definitely something that I think is really transformational because this is Monkia. Monkia is going to be artwork that's going to be helping the NFT space. So let's go ahead and go into the charts. So this is Monkia's NFT price. This is Monkia itself. So if you're looking here, you're seeing that ever since the inception of its launch of around August 5th of 2022, which was not too long ago, we can see that it's actually been seeing not too bad of a trading sideways action. Now in this triangle, as you can see here, it's coming into a wedge. And in that wedge, we are seeing that it broke out minorly, very above the green line, and then dipped right below that. So we could see some trading action right here. Now it can either go up or go down at this point, it doesn't really matter, but what you really need to know is the relative strength index. And in the relative strength index, we were first starting off with actually a huge buying volume, a huge strength within that buying volume. And then it slightly, slightly, not sharply decreased down, but slightly decreased down sideways, in the longevity of this. So you must be wondering, why is this not going straight up or straight down? Why is it just trading sideways? Well, I think because people are very curious and they are either buying in, accumulating, or they're just waiting to see what's gonna happen. But this is probably why it's happening, why it's heading sideways, because we're seeing that Monkia is really taking people's PFPs and transforming it these are hand drawn, which is great. This is not some AI unit turning something into uh, this digital artwork. This is actually hand drawn from what I've seen. Now this is committed to OB waivers, which is an influencer on Twitter, and they created a one-on-one -on -one honorary for that person. Now next up, we also have other examples. We also have Ice Knife, another influencer that Monkey had created a PFP for. We also have this set song crack for Mr. Solana guy, who was able to get his PFP turned into something very different which I think is really awesome to see PFPs change like this. Now also we have Shill and Villain who had his PFP changed or transformed in this amazing work of art. And we also have Poloe, who is also a Trippanape tribe holder who had his PFP changed as well. And again, each one has its own unique designs. As you can see, they're all hand drawn. Every each one has its own unique ability. And also we have this person, another uh, influencer, Soul Big Brain, who had his changed as well. And we know that Soul Big Brain is definitely a huge influencer who also is a part of the Monkey Dow. And also we have Stone Ape Crew who had theirs changed into P Are you guys getting this? Are you guys seeing how amazing these pieces of works are? If you're looking at it, you can see like this is something that you can literally frame on your wall. And that's what we want, something contemporary. I can imagine this being printed and framed literally in a living room or something that can be portrayed. If you're an NFT lover, this is definitely the avenue for you. And then we also have DJ and Fat Cats who also had theirs transformed. This is the after and this is the before, just to show you what the range is and how the design can be really intricate. Now, next up, we also have this, the Penguin. 
This penguin used to look like this before, but check it out now. Completely transformed, completely different. You can see that if you look at these two images, it's not like drawn right over, it's not traced over. This is literally starting from brand new and adding more flavor into it. And we also have Liberty Square who had theirs transformed as well. If you look at the before picture, this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looked like after. It almost made it look a lot better from its original one, which is great. And then we also have the D gods. We cannot forget that we can always make huge, amazing transformation of the D gods community. And this is the after, and this is the before. See how it's completely, completely different. When I compare these two photos together, you can tell that it's not completely drawn right over. Starting from scratch with someone's naked eye. That's amazing. Now we also have Saint Degens, another transformational art. Now let's go ahead and go to the, this is the after, let's go to the before. Look how completely different it is. I love this. I love that it looks completely uh, accentuated. I feel like it actually makes our PFPs worth more money in a way. That's, that's my complete honesty, right? I love seeing these types of artworks that I seriously think could be hung up in a museum. That's right, an actual art museum. And I go to a lot of contemporary art museums, like the MoCA and everything. And here's another Mankia of this new Atadia NFT that was transformed as well. You're getting the idea. So now you need to understand what collaborations that they're gonna have. Now this is a collaboration that they're gonna have with uh, Monkeyat Cyborgs, or the Celebrity Cyborgs. Now Celebrity Cyborgs and Monkeyat are partnering up and they've already actually released this, but I wanna show you what actually happened. Now this is the Monkeyat floor. This is kind of allows you to understand where the floor had been. And this is Celebrity Cyborgs. And they did a collaboration together to reward both holders of both the Celebrity Cyborgs and also Monkeyat. So if you go here, you'll see that Monkeyat was able to give their holders a free mint. And that was not too long ago. This is on August 17th, which was just yesterday. So people were able to acquire these uh, Monkeyat cyborgs and mint it for free and have them in their wallet and they could flip it if they want to. But what was the result of that? Well, let's go and check it out. So Mikey.Soul is one of the influencers that got one of these free NFTs. All they had to do is really just delist it from the marketplace and have it in their wallet. And that's all they needed to do in order to acquire these free mints of these Monkeyat cyborgs. Now also, let's talk about the reaction to it. So once these PFPs were pretty much released on the market floor, the floor price, believe it or not, was 2.5 Solana at the time of that recording of this writing, right? The, the floor price of that has changed. Now, if we go to the actual floor, it actually decreased to 0 0.89. But regardless, guys, if you had held one of these NFTs, you would have minted this for free. So any gains from this would have been amazing. But the fact that when people first started getting these, the floor price was 2.5 Solana. That is absolutely insane. The fact that it's even 0 0.8 Solana, and that is huge. That that Those are people making profit. And if you look at this chart, there's only 22 listed on the floor. That's amazing. That's bringing value to your holders. But guys, it isn't about the flipping about this, all right? It's about other things. And I'll share that at the very end about their roadmap and their personal message to the community. Now, moving on. They've also created ba basically a derivative or a transformational PFP of the infected mob. If you guys just don't know about infected mob, we'll share a video on the upper right hand side of how bullish I am around that collection. But regardless, Monkia has provided an opportunity that's created these transformational, two pieces of transformational art for the community. Now, this allows people to be part of a giveaway. Now, 3,000 mob tokens are gonna to be given away to their holders. They can participate, as long as they delist it, to either get Steve or the Third Eye uh, Infected Mob Transformations. So, how does that actually work? Well, you need to actually have 10 mob tokens. So, next up, these are the characters right here. This is the Third Eye, and this is Steve. So, these are the ones that you can actually win. And now, if you go to their marketplace in this link right here, It'll take you to this place. Now, this is the place where you can actually submit your tokens, your mob tokens. So if you're able to secure your mob tokens, because you have your NFTs delisted, you're automatically given it, right? And you can submit your mob tokens right into this raffle so you can win these pieces of art. And I guarantee you, these are actually gonna fetch for a good, good amount of money in terms of Solana. So hopefully we'll see who does win. But guys, for 223 submitted to this one and 242 compared to the thousands of the other ones, you can actually score a really good one right here. And I think absolutely don't sleep on that. Now, I wanna show you with you the roadmap. So this is their roadmap. I think it's actually kind of cute and I think cute is the right word because again, everything's hand drawn. 
So this was already phase one, Twitter, Discord, build, community, mint date, that's done. Now phase two is allowing people to have their verifications for holders, they're gonna be collaborating with other artists and then they're gonna have a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization. Phase three, they're gonna allow for holders that can customize their mods key up and that's what I think we're gonna be seeing pretty soon. And also they're gonna brainstorm on the next roadmap. So they're very flexible in that idea. And then what I'm really excited about is this next phase, phase four is the art exhibition. So imagine that you actually get to exhibit either in the metaverse or in the real world, AKA IRL in real life. And imagine if they actually had a real event where people, real artists, people who really appreciate art, art savvy people get to meet together. You never know how it's gonna happen, but this would be really exciting. Now I'm gonna share with you th this roadmap. This is actually a personal message that I'm not gonna read word by word. But in this roadmap, which is a two page paper, all I have to say just to summarize everything is that they are understanding where the market floor is. They understand that people are in this market, this NFT space to flip, but we're missing the most essential thing in this fast paced lifestyle, which is appreciating art for what it really is. Again, we can't forget that the NFT space is not just evolved around trading, it's evolved around artwork. It's evolved around the scene of art, right? The community of the art scene. And we need to be reminded of being around like-minded people who appreciate not just you know crappy artwork, but artwork that really stands out, that makes a stamp, a message that uh, stands out beyond more than just what you see with your own eyes, but just the meaning behind it all, all right? And if you transform your PFPs into something, it's making a statement, right? And that's what you need to keep in mind is that when you participate in the Monkey Out Roadmap and the community, you're understanding that you're participating in this new movement, right? A new movement where it's a one-on-one -on -one piece of work and that we're shifting from people spreading FUD or being S posters to something where we really appreciate the positivity around how do we celebrate artists? How do we celebrate artwork? How do we celebrate communities and getting together? And that's what I find really interesting about their statement is that they're very flexible and where that roadmap is gonna go. Art is truly the essence of what the NFT space is really about. And Mankia is actually, I think in some way, and this is why they stood out to me compared to most other AI or other derivative transformational arts is that they understand the mentality of what art is. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys the fact that they're merging into the NFT scene is exactly why they attract me the most. And guys, if you want to see an example of what they've done already, they've created a one-on-one -on -one honorary for me. And that's this. So I told them about my PFP that I want to be transformed. And it was a degen sweeper. This is one of my proudest NFTs that I have right now in my portfolio. And what do they do? How do they transform it? Well, let's go and check it out. It is this one right here. That is freaking amazing just to see that again hand freaking drawn. And that's why I love this collection so much and why they stand out to me. Guys, imagine getting your PFP transformed in this way, shape or form. I would love to have this framed in my living room and it's just absolutely amazing. Gotta give credit to the artists there. So here's my closing statement. Where I think Monkeyak could go is actually quite, I think early on in its stage. I don't think this could go to zero. I don't think that this could go into a hundred Solana in a day. But the fact is, we are in a current low volume in terms of trading on Magic Eden. So where do you dip your toes? Where should you put your investments in? For 0.28 Solana at the time of this recording, that's actually not that bad. You can actually have around say three, up to 15 if you want for not really spending too much money. What do I mean by that? So, you know, say for instance, there are some collections out there where the Solana floor price is around five Solana. Well, you can get a ton of these Monkeyats for that same price, but you may not want to do that. It's okay. You don't have to buy a ton. Maybe follow the rule of three, where you have three in your portfolio. Or if you just want to have one, that's completely fine. But the whole point is, have some exposure to this. You know, it's again, not financial advice. It's just my own opinion. Again, I'm only here for entertainment, but guys, just like having a little bit of exposure, it's not a bad idea. I mean, I personally don't have one of these but I'm really tempted to buy one of these. And I'll let my Patreon members know how many I plan on buying. Again, if you haven't subscribed to our Patreon or joined our Patreon page, join our link below and I'll show with you all my alpha calls and also everything I'm buying and selling within the NFT space. But with this collection, it's definitely looking very interesting because who else is doing the contemporary and modern world of the NFT space, transforming your PFPs? I look forward to transforming my PFPs and I look forward to sharing more developments if there are more developments with Monkey Up. But guys, I want to put this in your radar, put this on your horizon, and you've seen all the examples that I've shared with you in regards to the collection of people, influencers who've had their 
PFPs change. So let that be the deciding factor for you. So guys, if you like what you enjoyed, like what you heard, be sure to like up the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign-up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.